There you go. There's more? I can't eat all this. Don't sweat it, Chairman. Us young folks can handle this chow. Oh, definitely. My stomach's a bottomless pit. Bon appetit! Hell yeah! We get so focused on our food that we forgot to actually discuss anything. Oh, it is damn good. Yeah, yeah. We have to get down to business. Guess I'm kicking us off. This is Kumekun, leader of Bleach Japan's Yokohama branch. He's going to run for this district's representative seat in the next election. Now what you gotta understand about this kid, is he's just step one of Ryo Aoki's scheme to turning Jincho into his personal political machine. Zhao's correct. Kume is just one step. Aoki's other steps include a huge number of Bleach Japan candidates all over the country. Yeah, I noticed that too. Ah, uh, the dam is broken. There's no stopping it now. Governor Aoki's too popular. There's no one who can stand up to him. So you think Kume's win is a done deal, Chairman Hoshino? Pretty much. Kume has Aoki's broad public adoration at his back, throwing Aoki's fundraising and media savviness. Kume's got a very real shot at this. I'd say so. He wants Ijincho so bad, it's gotten personal for him. Since it was Ogikubo's kingdom before, seizing it makes Aoki the new heir apparent. That's gotta be what he's thinking. Yes. I'd venture to say that even if the Citizens Liberal Party wins every other district, he won't be satisfied unless he wins this one. He's gonna throw everything he's got at this contest. Definitely. Well, I'm not gonna roll over and just take it. Anybody with me? With you on what? On taking this dude down a peg. I'm sick of getting our asses kicked. We all are, but... We can't just let him win. We need to do something. I mean, Bleach Japan is in bed with the Omi Alliance. Isn't that fucked up? It's, you know, hypocritical. They go around preaching about how Grey Zones need to go, acting like they're heroes or something. Meanwhile, they team up with gangsters to take over Japan and everyone just claps for them? The thing is, Kasuga, these gangsters have a governor on their side. They're untouchable. Are you guys even hearing yourselves right now? 
What's gotten into you? The Eijing Three used to protect the weak and vulnerable in this town. Granted, you did it by running a huge scam, so I'm not gonna give you too much credit. But after everything the city's given you, don't you feel like you owe something to it? Look, I know none of you guys did what you did just for the money. Ogikubo was the one raking in all the dirty riches. You guys wanted to stop a war from destroying this town. And if you don't stand up now, you're basically abandoning the Eijing Three's purpose. It's a discri- You sure you want to finish that thought? Yeah, dial it down, or I'll set you straight. Well, I for one agree with him. Uh, you do? Everything you said is true. We all lived in the Grey Zones, and sure, that ain't something to be proud of. But at least we could be proud of putting food on the tables of our men and their families. You're with me on that at least, right, Songwei? If we roll over, we will be throwing away everything we've ever worked for. Zhao. No, it's true. And remember, I left the Liu Meng in your hands. I trusted you to consider what my men need. This is shaping up to be your first job as their new boss. Come on, Songhui. Damn it. Fine. Uh, Chairman Hoshino, you got any wisdom of your own to lend us? Well, I do understand the need to be fair to the city. I'll help. And to think, <laughs> I only came here for the food. Didn't expect to get roped into some noble last stand. You know what they say, there's no such thing as a free lunch. True that. Now let's go take care of Kume. I have to admit, I will enjoy knocking that little punk off his pedestal. So what's a move? Good question. We need to strike, but how? Don't you think it's obvious? No? What? We need to ruin the young master's reputation. Meaning? We gotta make sure Kume loses the election. Well, how do you propose we do that? Um, that part I hadn't really figured out. But once we do...
It'll be like... I don't see how it's feasible. I mean, we could maim him. If he's too injured, he'd have to pull out of the race, and then... You want to kill him? Well, only if he resists. We can't do that. If he dies, I'll just replace him with some other tool. I'm sure they've got backup candidates waiting in the wings. Hey, winning. That's how we do it. We just win it ourselves. Huh? We win the election with our own candidate. Put someone up who can get more votes than Kume. There's got to be someone out there who can do it. Yes, probably. But how do we figure out who this someone is? <laughs> We're not political consultants. Well, we should remember the votes for Kume aren't really for him in the first place. They're votes for Aoki. Good point. Can you think of anyone who fits the bill, Chairman Hoshino? Unfortunately, I can't say I do. Ogi Kubo was an incumbent here for many years, with no opponents who posed any real threat. The only people who ever ran against him just did so as a formality. Hey, you seem to know a lot about it. Why don't you run? Excuse me? Yeah, people know who you are. You've got charisma. No Yakuza's gonna win an election, even in the Gene Show. And if he did, I'd consider the world doomed. <laughs> Seriously. But I could try to recruit someone who would have a chance in the race. That's a start. I hope you're not expecting me to shoulder this burden alone, though. What do you mean? Elections cost money. A lot of money. If I find a candidate, who's footing the bill for the campaign? Mm -mm. I'll tell you right now, my people don't have a single yen to spare. Right, so... Uh, how much is it exactly? I'm willing to chip in some myself. But I'll need an additional three million yen cash just to register. Three million? You need that much? At a minimum. If you can't scrape that amount together, this plan is dead in the water. <sighs> I hate to say it, but he's right. Can you do it, Kasuga-kun?
I'll show you a fight. I got this. Take this. いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございました
Hey, hold on, Ichiban. What's all this about going to Osaka? <laughs> Turns out Arakawa-san needs some help. My help. Mitsu just called me and said Arakawa-san's already on his way to Sotenbori. But why Osaka? I don't know. I didn't bother to ask. You realize Sotenbori is where the Omi Alliance is headquartered. You'll be screwed if your cover gets blown. Think about that, would you? All I need to think about is that Arakawa-san said he needs me. He's going to Osaka, so I'm going to Osaka. I don't care what anyone says about it. He gets like this, Tadachi-san. Ichiban, what about Ijinsho? The election's coming up. We helped you make all that money to fight Ryo Aoki. Now you're just gonna leave us hanging? <laughs> 